Good morning, good evening to all of you. My name is Abhishek Shivastava and I have spent close to 29 years in the IT industry in the roles of a programmer, business analyst, project and program management. In this video, I'm going to talk about top 10 highest paying IT jobs. And I'm going to talk about full stack developer, cloud or DevOps engineer, business analyst, data engineer, big data engineer, AI slash ML engineer, data scientist, project manager, product manager, and finally, technical architect. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about the role, just a brief about that. What are the skills required? And what is the general salary in India? First, full stack developer. This is one of the most in-demand jobs in the IT industry. A full stack developer is a developer or a software engineer who can build both the front end and the back end of a software application. It could be a web application, it could be a mobile application, or it could be any type of an application. So basically it's about a developer who knows end to end of the entire application, including the front end, which is the browser based development part and the back end, which is the database part. So what are the skills which are needed to become a full stack developer? It's web technology wise, you need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Scripting languages, you can learn jQuery or Node.js, React.js. In the programming languages, you need to have PHP or C Sharp or Python, etc. language knowledge. And finally, on the database front, you need to be aware of SQL and the procedural SQL part. In, in Oracle, it is called PLSQL. In SQL Server, it's called something else, which is TSQL. Now, the salary part. The salary for full stack developer ranges from 4 lakhs to 10 lakhs. So this is an approximate estimation of the salary based on the research I have done on various websites like payscale.com, indeed.com and glassdoor.com. Most of the IT companies in India recruit full stack developers including IBM, TCS, Accenture, SCL Technologies, Infosys and so on. Next, cloud or DevOps engineer. I've just bracketed them together. So a cloud engineer is basically responsible for designing, creating, and looking after cloud-based solutions for organizations. So these engineers are responsible for designing, coding, deploying, and even maintaining cloud-based applications. So what are the skills required? Linux or Unix OS or operating system knowledge. From the programming language perspective, we need to know Python, Ruby on Rails, etc. One also needs to be aware of networking and internet protocols because you are working on DevOps cycle or the cloud. You need to know about DevOps and containerization, virtualization, and also be aware of cloud platforms like AWS, now Google Cloud, or Azure. Now about the salary. So the salary for DevOps or cloud engineer ranges from 4 lakhs to 12 lakhs. Again, this is based on the data from payscale.com, indeed.com, and glassdoor.com. Which are the IT companies? which employ cloud or DevOps engineers. So any IT company which is in the cloud space or is offering a subscription based product or service like Amazon AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft, IBM, Salesforce, etc. Third, business analyst. This is one of the profiles in the IT industry which does not require programming, programming language knowledge. So who is a business analyst? A business analyst basically helps an organization find the solution to a problem and helps the technology team to develop that solution. So basically a business analyst works with the customer to understand what is needed and then takes that information to the technology team to get that software application developed. So as a business analyst, what are the skills needed? You need to be aware of, aware of agile and waterfall methodologies use cases, user stories, process modeling, prototyping, data modeling, the ability to write requirements document like SRS, BRD, etc. Basic knowledge of SQL is also needed and awareness of the tools like Jira, MS Visio, Figma, etc. Now for business analysts, International Institute of Business Analysis Canada offers multiple levels of business analyst certifications like ECBA, CCBA and CWAP. You can go for these certifications which will help you in becoming a business analyst. Now the salary part. So the salary part 
is pretty variable again from 5 lakhs to 12 lakhs and it will depend on your background, your domain knowledge and etc. and many other factors. As far as employers, most of the IT companies, whichever is doing software project development, they will be looking for BAs. So there is a good demand for business analysts. Number four, we have data engineer. Data engineer is a technical role and you need to know a lot of programming languages and technologies. What are those skills? SQL to start with. You need to be very good at SQL. You need to be good in data modeling and mapping. You need to be good in Python, Kafka, cloud computing, etc. Also, awareness about data warehouse and various data analytics techniques will be really useful. The salary range is from 5 lakhs to 13 lakhs. Data engineers are employed by, again, most of the IT companies because most of the IT companies are working on data analytics projects. So you can apply to TCS, Infosys, Cognizant, etc, etc. Moving ahead, big data engineer, which is a specific type of data engineer which works on big data. So you know big data is basically huge amounts of data by size, volume and veracity. Most of the technical skills will be similar to data engineer but in addition to that you also need to be aware of big data technologies and the database called Hadoop. The salary ranges a little higher than the data engineers starting from 6 lakhs to 15 lakhs. Big data engineers will be definitely employed by companies which specifically work on big data. So large cloud computing based companies like AWS, Google, they are looking for big data engineers because their cloud platforms deals with big data as well. Next is artificial intelligence or machine learning engineers. These are the engineers who are again tech professionals who are responsible for automating predictive models or AI and ML models so that they can solve the modern day business challenges. The AI and ML engineers, they are involved in research, building and designing AI systems which can run on its. Now, in terms of skills, you need programming and analytical skills with the focus on problem solving. Programming language wise, you need to know Python, R, etc. Knowledge of machine learning, artificial intelligence algorithms and deep learning is important. And you need to be familiar with all the machine learning libraries which are generally used to develop solutions. The salary ranges from 7 lakhs to 14 lakhs. Now, these engineers, just like big data engineers, will be employed exclusively in companies which use AI and or which work on AI and ML projects like Tiger Analytics, Quantify, Amazon, etc. On the other side, some of the large IT consulting companies like TCS Infosys also are working on these projects. So they will also be looking for these kind of engineers. Next is data scientist. As you know, data scientists have been touted as the sexiest job of 20th century. A data scientist uses data to understand and explain the phenomena around the data. Now this is helpful for the organizations as they can make better decisions. Data scientists ask and answer questions like what happened, why did it happen, what will happen next and what can be done to correct or to change the results or to determine what's going to happen in the future. Now these are the types of data analytics. So we were talking about descriptive analytics, we were talking about predictive analytics and so on. So from a data scientist perspective, what are the skills? You need to know R, Python, SQL, MongoDB, MySQL from the database perspective, statistics and probability because you have to develop the models, Tableau and Power BI for data visualization, AI, ML and NLP, that is the natural language processing, big data and Hadoop and very, very strong focus on analytical and problem solving skills. Data scientists, as I mentioned earlier, are required in small numbers. So the salary is relatively higher than data engineers or big data engineers. 
So it starts from 7 lakhs and goes up to 20 lakhs and can also go up much higher. Just like big data engineers, data scientists are also employed by organizations which are operating in analytics space. Next is project manager. Project manager is one of the oldest career options in the IT industry. A PM or a project manager is a professional who organizes, plans and executes projects while looking at the budgets, schedules and all the other constraints, including risks. Project managers are like captain of the ship, carrying the responsibility of the entire ship. Ship in this case will be a software project. So what are the skills needed? They need to be aware of the project initiation step, project planning, risk management, tracking and control mechanisms, team management, time management and so on. They should be aware of tools like Jira, MS project, etc. And in addition to that, they can also go for project management institute certifications like CAPM or PMP. The salary ranges from 10 to 25 lakhs and can go higher. Where are project managers employed? Well, in most of the IT companies, most of the IT projects, there is a project manager. So in terms of requirements, project managers demand is always going to be there in the IT industry. Next comes product manager. This is one of the latest but very promising roles in the industry. So product manager is the person who identifies the customer need and the larger business objectives. And it enables a team to develop a product that brings vision of the product to reality. In simple terms, job of a product manager is to discover a product that is valuable, usable, feasible, and marketable. So a product manager basically is expected to have multiple skills like communication, objective, prioritization skills, people management skills, organizational skills, tech skills, design skills, and other skills. So it's, it's a pretty powerful role who carries the burden of the entire product on his or her shoulders. But this is one of the roles which has a lot of promise currently and also going to be pretty powerful role in the future. The salary ranges from 12 lakhs to 35 lakhs in India. Companies like Microsoft, Paytm, Amazon, Flipkart, Oracle, and so on. All of these companies employ product managers. So any company which is offering a product or a service as on a subscription model will require product managers to manage the entire line of business or entire product. So product managers are expected to have knowledge of the sales, marketing, and also to an extent technology. But most importantly, they should be really good at team management and people management. Last but not the least is the technical architect. Just like data scientists, technical architects are needed in smaller numbers, but it's a highly paid job. Now, technical architects could be on web solutions, on AI or ML solutions, or they could be IoT solutions architect. So they can be in multiple flavors. They can also be cloud architects, cloud solutions architect. So they are basically responsible for designing and building IT systems for clients, especially in cases where large scale enterprise solutions are needed. It's a highly tech, but highly specialized job. So what do you need to know? as a tech architect or what do you need to become a tech architect? You need to have strong knowledge of various technologies, platforms, and architectural patterns, including data modeling, excellent problem solving and analytical skills, understanding of the enterprise architectures, strong communication and interpersonal skills, cloud computing, and on the certification front, TOGAF is one of the highly recommended certifications. What about the salary? The salary ranges from 20 lakhs to 50 lakhs. Now, it's a powerful role and is needed for all the large scale enterprise level projects, as I mentioned earlier. Now, this demand for technical architects is very exclusive and limited number of companies are employing tech architects. 
So Amazon, TCS, or the large companies which are carrying out larger projects will need technical architects. So these were the 10 highest paid IT jobs in 2024. I hope you like this video. Please click on the like button and also do subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification button. Thank you so much.